hi everyone and welcome back and in this video we are going to talk about nest.js providers so this is this topic is all about dependency injection how we are creating providers and how we are able to inject those into our controllers or other services right so what is the default default uh, dependency injection we do is we create a simple services like here we did uh, we created a simple app service or inside this domain if you see we created a user service we inject we use this injectable annotation to create this as an injectable service and we injected that inside a user controller using constructor injection so this becomes a service and we are registering that service at the module level inside a providers you can see user service but this is not the only way to create a injectable providers there are other ways also and this these are there are different ways of creating these injectable services so first of all you can just create a injectable service in these providers by just passing the provider and the use class so there are two type of providers the class based providers and the known class based providers and first of all why you need these custom providers i mean this is the default implementation standard providers this is how we create and this is how we inject them and why we need this custom way of creating the providers or registering the providers to the module instance due to three different reasons i mean this documentation is really uh, explaining each and everything very nice and clean so i won't use my own brain to spoil things we can just talk about and focus on the main points we will use these custom providers to override the service definition like here when we write a nest js test for the service what we do is we mock the particular class by overriding the implementation so this cat service is there as an injectable service and i will override that with the mock service so here this provider and this is the known class based uh, provider here we are using this particular object for the same class and here you can provide a mock implementation of that service second reason is you want to create a ins custom instance of having and nest.js instantiate i mean you don't want to use the instance which nest.js is using you want to have a custom implementation or custom instance or you want to reuse uh, an existing class for the secondary for second dependency let's say we have a user service i want to create a custom user service uh, so we can just create a alias for that and then you want to override a class with a mock implementation for testing these are the three main reasons so uh, what we will do is we will play with this with the simple let's say i'm creating a simple user dao service here and here we will create a simple class and we will play we will play with that in the module how we can uh, register that service so you can do the mix of all these things you can provide this injectable service and you can also pass these things okay like uh, override this service with this value so first of all uh, let's say i want to just create a create a simple class here export class user dao service and this is the injectable class so we'll just make it as an injectable class and it we are exporting it so this is a user dao service so what we will do is inside a module you can do two things is here we can just use a uh, use class so there are different things you can see here i can that that is popping up right use class and use value use existing to create alias of same instance and there is a factory pattern factory way of also creating the provider so use class i'm going to create a user dao service and the value for that use value is also user dao service using another way of creating custom providers so even you can actually create a you can inject this use dao service also and here we can create a custom instance of it so it provide and i can just use use existing used our service i think there is a custom implementation we can do so here use alias use existing i was looking for 
so here you can provide a custom uh, implementation let's say what i'm doing is i'm going, going to create uh, let's say custom user dao service and here you can also inject a user dao service which you created and here i have created a custom instance of the same class so it's like a aliasing at the same service instance and providing it so you can also export it and then this custom instance can be used somewhere else this is just a just way of creating two instances of same service so i will just uh, replace this for now provide and uh, use class and this is what we are in creating custom providers okay so this is the one way of doing it let's go to the top and see other options so provide service and your class whatever we have written and then the value providers so what it is doing is you can create the mock implementation right use value provide and use value so similarly let's say because this is a service user DAO service is a service what you can do is you can create a mock implementation for this i'm just using the same user DAO mock service So what it means is let's say you are writing a test and you wanted to uh, mock this particular service right so what you will do is you just can just provide the mock implementation of the same service uh, why it is complaining is missing the following property type of any it's like when you want to override the implementation then you will be using use value instead of use class but because what we are saying is use this DAO service with the mock implementation override with this value so this is already there in the documentation i'm um, just misreading it so this is a cat service and if you want to override the implementation for your test then you have to use use value so there are different options right provide use class use existing right if you want to create some alias or use value use value will allow us to create this custom provider with mock implementation so user DAO service whatever we are injecting will use the the properties and the methods which are defined inside this it's like a mock implementation we have created then there is a known class based provider tokens so what we do is provide and use value so let's say i'm providing you the let's say api token this is a string based uh, custom providers so api tokens and here inside a use value you can pass a class you can pass any object or anything so let's say this is a simple object so this is like api mock it can be simple object which you are passing now this api token is actually injectable how you can inject it inside your service you can go to your uh, user service and do the injection there so here i will be using inject api token and api token is of uh, type api token api so we have let me import the inject and there is a type we have already created for this where is our service uh, here inside the module i have created api mock so this is how we are injecting this like say this is how we will inject connection any particular property right so we created this uh, custom provider which is known class based uh, string based uh, provider token provide in the use value inside our domain module user module provided in the use module use value and we can inject this api token in our service and we can access that just we need to pass the type instead of value so what we are doing inside a module i created a simple type api mock type which we are passing here and same type we can specify for this token so this is what we are calling is a known class based provider token so here this connection is like a string based token and this is the value this connection can be an object or a class and this is how we are injecting that and we can i can access 
these properties here now class based providers class based providers we have already used uh, uh, I mean factory based provider we have already used but class based provider is also kind of a simple same thing here what we are doing is we are creating a provider and we already have a class so let's say I think this example we are doing in our database package app packages inside app database or app service config service uh, config module what we are doing is we are creating a provide config service and this is the use factory so provide and a use class this is the class provider and if you want to talk about the factory then this is how we do it provide and a use factory so provide and uh, what is this use class so we can talk about our existing application to do a simple demo about this source config we will go to the application inside domain we can just check some example here user module right here what we are saying is uh, let's say we have this config DAO service user DAO service right this is the provide and here we can use use class so there are different options right use class use existing use factory so if you use use class then you can pass a class uh, class which is user DAO service is also a class right so this is another implementation which we have already discussed provide and a use class use existing use factory use value use value when, when you want to provide a custom implementation of this in the mock testing use existing when you want to create a alias of this service instance so here I will just create this is the service name I'm just creating the alias of this of the same service but the instance name is user DAO service uh, instance or something right so this is provide use existing and here it, it is another thing is use class class based provider and you can specify the class for the implementation is happening use class and then similarly there is a last one is use factory what use factory does it's a factory provider use factory allow us to create the providers dynamically this is important and we have used it at many places if I talk about uh, this thing in the database package we are using factory provider so inside package app database source DB module what we are doing here here you can see import for root async and this is actually we are passing this provider dynamically right because here we are using use factory and all the values like the initialization of the modules are coming dynamically this is the config object database config module options are coming dynamically similarly this is uh, if I just talk about this how we just do it so here what we are doing is provide this is what I'm going to provide and inside use factory I'm um, just putting the provider and I have to inject a optional provider like I'm injecting a config service here this is another service I'm injecting and this is a use factory which will have some logic to return the module so it is just returning this uh, an instance of this service right so it's like provide and use factory we I can talk about uh, an example config module here you can see it's also the same thing we have the config service a simple class without injectable and this is what it is returning it's returning the config so if I just copy this thing and we'll talk about here in app domain user service or user domain module user module what we are doing is we are creating a simple fact factory config factory and what we are providing is let's say user DAO service and here I will be just creating a instance of this user DAO service and I mean there is no method right now it is just 
going to give us the instance of this and here it can provide you the access token based uh, custom provider like let's say i can just call it as a config and that i can inject so i this is the config factory right and now i can just pass this config factory same as the service simple the only thing is this is a factory provider here in the use factory you can be just dependent on any other config service which will be initializing this same as here let's say i'm just dependent on the option provider based on this option provider i'm initializing this the i'm just returning the instance of this database connection class okay use existing we have already talked about the custom alias we are creating known service based here what we are doing is we are just returning a config object right this is also important so known service based which is not writing having much of implementation let's say i want to provide a config object this i want to inject in my controllers or any other service what it is doing is it is going to return an object so the, the sole objective of use factory if you remember our earlier code we are returning some object so what you can do is you can return just a simple object dev config uh, production config or something on the fly based on the environment it will return a dev config or the production config right and you can just pass this config factory same as you are passing a service inside the providers so we have seen the multiple implementations of uh, creating these custom providers using factory providers using by creating custom alias by custom providers right and here by using known service based so it's like all uh, you will play with the provide and use factory i will just tell you what uh, we are doing so here we are doing provide i will just use this thing to play with these different options so what we are doing provide so provide will be a class let's say user DAO service it can be a string based token and here what we can do is use factory in using use factory you have to return the instance of the service or you can what you can do is you can return based on the environment you can return an object any configurations like okay i'm just returning an empty object or i can just uh, return the instance of the class i have so provide use factory what are other options we have use existing so i already have an injectable class i'm just going to create a custom implementation of this service by passing this user dao service so i got the new instance of the same service so use existing provide then there is a use class if you want to use this particular class this is the class based custom provider then there is a use value if you want to override this implementation you are using mock mock service then you can create a mock instance of the same like this so i mean dependency injection is easy and now what you can do is you can inject these services this custom token you can inject like we have done this injection of this api token which is string based uh, token which we have added in the custom providers and now we can inject that anywhere okay so this is all about dependency injection you can just go through this uh, documentation there are many ways of uh, creating these custom providers class based known class based uh, string token based providers a standard way of injecting we always use we create a service injectable service and we just inject that inside a constructor and we put that just as simple as uh, inside the providers array cat service